Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com. Thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. So today I am going to be sharing a project with you featuring the Healing Hugs stamp set. We have had this uh, stamp set for a little while um, and I had a, a swap card that I needed to make for um, my team swaps from last month and the theme was um, thinking of you or get well. So I chose this stamp set to create a get well card. So I'm gonna share that card with you today. So I've got all of my pieces here and I am going to start with uh, this piece of Whisper White cardstock and I will have the exact measurements um, for all of the pieces that I'm using in this video um, over on today's blog post, which I will have linked down below in the video description. And I'm gonna bring in some scratch paper because I'm going to be making just a very quick and easy background on this piece of Whisper White. I've got my Rich Razzleberry ink here. And this uh, Healing Hug stamp set is actually one of our distinctive stamp sets. So you get this beautiful like 3D um, stamped image when you stamp this uh, flower here. I just love how um, that looks. So I'm just gonna stamp this image five times because odd numbers just always look very visually appealing. I'm gonna stamp it five times in my Rich Razzleberry. One more. There we go, that's it. Just gonna fold that layer back because it's still a little bit wet. I've got one of our Whisper White envelopes here and I am just going to ink this up. Again, I'm gonna stamp it off actually. And then stamp this image in the bottom left-hand corner of my envelope, just for a little lighter shade of that color of the Rich Razzleberry. Then I'm gonna bring in this piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is cut three inches by one inch and I'm gonna stamp my sentiment in Rich Razzleberry as well. And the sentiment that I chose is the one from the stamp set that says, if hugs and kisses uh, could cure, you'd be immune to everything, feel better soon. So let me just scoot this down. Stamp that right in the middle. I think that's the center. Oh, and I stamped <laughs> upside down. But just rotate that around and we're good. <laughs> so now we can start putting this card together. So for my card base, I've got a piece of Poppy Parade cardstock. This is cut eight and a half inches by five and a half inches and I've scored it at four and a quarter inches. So I'm just gonna give this a nice crease with my bone folder here. Okay, and then I've got a piece of Rich Razzleberry cardstock, and this is cut four inches by five and a quarter inches. And this piece um, that we stamped earlier is just an eighth of an inch less on all four sides for that Whisper White layer. But again, all of the measurements and supplies are over on today's blog post linked down below. So let me get my snail and we will just add this layer. On to our rich razzleberry. Next, I'm gonna take this piece of designer paper. This is from the Peaceful Poppies designer series paper. Um, I cut this down th uh, two inches by four inches and I'm just gonna add this across the lower center, I think. Yeah, lower center of my card layer here. Yeah, so right about here. Just get that on there. Then I am going to take some Whisper White Baker's Twine and just wrap that around a couple of times here, just like so and I'll just snip that off. And then I just went ahead and stuck that down really well with uh, some tear and tape, and I'm gonna go ahead and add some dimensionals onto the back of this layer and get it popped up onto my card base. Okay, got my backings off of my dimensionals. I'll just center this up, put it right onto the front 
of my card. Then I cut an extra piece of that um, Whisper White Baker's Twine, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it under the um, twine that we wrapped around the card layer, and then just tie it into a simple little bow here. Just let those ends hang down, and let me just trim those up. Then I've got this piece of Poppy Parade cardstock. This is cut half an inch by three and a half inches, and I'm just going to add some snail across the center of that little strip, and then I am going to center my sentiment right over top of that. So right about there I think looks good. And then dimensionals on the back. And then I will pop this up onto the front of my card. Right there, I'm just lining up the end of that little poppy parade strip with the edge of the um, card layer here, or this um, rich razzleberry layer. Just lining it up there, okay? And then I'm going to finish the card up with some of these metallic pearls, and I'm going to go with the silver. And I just wanna put one on each side here of my sentiment. I think that looks good. Press those in. All right, and there you have it. We have our matching envelope and then we have our finished card. This is such a simple card, but I love it. It's so colorful. Definitely will lift someone up who may be um, ill in health at the moment. Um, this will give them a great little pick me up. And I just wanna show you the difference in my um, original. I re-inked my uh, Rich Razzleberry and you can see how filled in the um, flowers are in this image uh, are on this card but here you can see before I inked up my rich razzleberry I actually like the flowers a lot better uh, less inked obviously because you can see all of the definition but isn't that so pretty I just love this card you guys it is gorgeous and like I said perfect to lift someone up and wish them well. So I hope that you have enjoyed today's tutorial. Uh, remember, you can find a full list of supplies that I used today with clickable links in the video description and over on today's blog post with all of the measurements. So everything you need is linked down below uh, in the description as well as direct links to my online Stampin' Up! store. So thank you guys for joining me today. Thank you so much to everyone who has shopped with me so far this month. I appreciate you all more than you know, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll be back again very soon. Bye now.